Chanel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make your very own jumpsuit. I'm going to be showing you how to make this jumpsuit from scratch so this is the perfect tutorial for those of you who aren't comfortable using a pattern just yet. This jumpsuit is inspired by the Lucy and Yak dungarees that I've been wanting to make myself for such a long time and I'm so happy with how it's turned out. So without further ado let's get into the tutorial. For this project you will need about 2.5 meters or two and three quarter yards of your choice of fabric. I'm using a mid-weight cotton drill that I'll leave a link to down below. A pair of scissors, a measuring tape, and a chalk pencil. Lay your fabric down on the fold and smooth out flat. Next, measure your hips at their widest part, then divide the measurement by four. This jumpsuit turned out pretty fitted, so if you would like a more loose fitting jumpsuit, I recommend also adding five centimeters or two inches to this measurement. Using your chalk pencil, draw your measurements onto the fabric from the non-folded edge. My tripod only let me zoom out so far, so here's a diagram to show you exactly what I'm drawing. Then measure from where you would like the top of your jumpsuit to sit to your ankles. Add about 10 centimeters or four inches to this measurement for hemming. Draw this measurement onto your fabric using the raw edge of the fabric as one of the lines. Next, measure from where the top of the jumpsuit will sit to your waist, adding five centimeters or two inches for when we hem the top of the jumpsuit. Mark where this measurement is on your fabric, then draw a line joining the two measurements together. Next, measure the width. You would like your jumpsuit to sit across your chest, adding about five centimeters or two inches for hemming to this measurement, and then divide the measurement by two. Then from the inner line, mark this measurement along the waistline and the top line and draw another line joining these marks together. Now from the top of this line, draw a curve to the far edge of the waistline. Next, measure from where you would like the top of your jumpsuit to sit to about 10 centimeters or four inches below your crotch. Remember to again add five centimeters or two inches to this measurement for hemming the top of the jumpsuit later. Draw the measurement onto the fabric, then measure about five centimeters or two inches out and up from the inner crotch line. Draw a curve from one of the marks to the other. Then take a ruler and draw a line from the crotch to the bottom of the jumpsuit. Now you have the front of your jumpsuit drawn up. To draw the back of the jumpsuit, follow the same steps as the front completely, except instead of measuring five centimeters or two inches at the crotch, measure 10 centimeters or four inches instead. Cut out the front and back pieces. With the leftover fabric, measure and cut out three 20 by 25 centimeter or eight by 10 inch rectangles for the pockets and two eight by 15 centimeter or three by six inch rectangles for the loops. For the straps, cut to 10 by 60 centimeter or four by 24 inch rectangles. So here are the pieces you should now have all cut out and ready to sew. Place the two front pieces on top of one another with right sides together and pin along the middle curved line. Stitch in place and repeat for the back pieces. Next, take the pocket pieces and hem the raw edges. To make nice crisp corners on your pockets, hem the two longer sides, then fold the corners in and press. Then hem as normal. Stitch the hem down along the top edge of each pocket. Then 
Pin the first pocket to the front of the jumpsuit approximately 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches from the top edge and five centimeters or two inches from the side edges of your jumpsuit. Stitch the pocket to the jumpsuit. Then pin the other two pockets onto the jumpsuit approximately 4 cm or 1.5 inches from the edge of the jumpsuit and 18 cm or 7 inches from the bottom of the top pocket. Stitch in place. With right sides together, lay the back of the jumpsuit onto the front piece. Matching centre seams, pin the back to the front at the inner leg, then sew together. Next, pin and sew the side edges together. Take your two loop pieces and iron them in half. Then unfold and iron the sides to the center crease. Fold again and pin in place. Stitch the seam closed. Then take your two strap pieces and repeat the exact same process, but this time fold the raw ends in about one centimeter or 0.4 of an inch. Next, take your jumpsuit and hem the raw side edges. Then hem the top front with a 2cm or 0.8 inch hem and take the two loop pieces and overlock or zigzag the raw edges, then fold in half and pin at the top of your jumpsuit. Stitch in place, then hem the back of the jumpsuit again by about 2cm or 0.8 of an inch. Place the two strap pieces into the folded hem and pin together. Stitch in place. Thread the straps through the loops to tie the jumpsuit together. Now all that's left to do is hem the jumpsuit pants to your desired length. I decided to leave mine pretty long so that I'm able to fold them up a little bit to create a cuff. So how does it look? this tutorial I'm so happy with how it's turned out and I cannot wait to make this jumpsuit in all of my favorite colors like always if you have a go at making this jumpsuit for yourself then I would love to see it so be sure to tag me at rosary apparel when you share it on Instagram and if you like this video then be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one have a lovely day and thanks for watching